Hello gamers. I've decided today that I'm going to vlog. Will this be a vlog that actually comes out? I don't know. I just got done at the gym. It was a very hard workout. It was leg day. My legs are noodly. My trainer was like, I need you to take an ice bath today. And so I thought it would be a fun thing to film. Um, so I need to go to CVS or whatever, go and get some ice. I need to get some Epsom salt as well. And I thought that I'd film that and just kind of film the rest of my day. I want to do a day in the life video. I did one a few years ago back in like 2018 or 2019 where it was like my ideal day in the life because I just, I'm trying to get my schedule to be better. And recently I've been waking up at uh, like 6.30ish. So I'm gonna do that soon, but I thought that it would be fun to vlog, me doing the ice bath. I might start doing some more vlogs and stuff like that. I don't, it's just like kind of fun. And I feel like most people like seeing the day in the life kind of stuff. Like I just said, I'm gonna do an actual day in the life thing. Um, I got new sunglasses <laughs> and I like them. One of the reasons why I wanna start sort of documenting more of my life. One, I've been training a lot more and I've just been trying to get into good shape. And so it's been cool to just like see my progress. I think I'm really excited because as many of you know, I used to be a gymnast and it was really intense. I was training like five or six days a week. It was a lot more intense though, because usually now if I'm training, I'm training for like an hour. And when I was a gymnast, I was working out for three to four hours every day. One of the things that got me being like, oh, I kind of want to document me training is uh, <laughs> Cody Ko's channel, uh, Cody Trains. But watching those videos has been cool. To see him train. And so I thought maybe I would do something similar. We're at CVS now. And then we're going to do an ice bath when I get home. Is this coming? I shit my pants. I don't want to poop in a tub. Okay, I got the, I got the ice. The ice has been secured, but also the battery in my key died. And I, I had to take the little key and use it like a normal key. <laughs> what? So it's time to go home. You guys will get to see Spencer. He'll be very excited to see you in the vlog. You'll also get to see Jerry. But the plan for the rest of this video, if you want a plan, I guess we're gonna do the ice bath right away. I guess that makes sense. And then I'll just take a normal shower. I also, I got my hair done yesterday and like, it looks good, but I made the mistake and I didn't know that this was a mistake because nobody tells me. Even the hairdresser was like, yeah, I feel like we should give a warning to people. And I was like, yeah, I feel like you should after this awful experience that I had now. I went to go and get my hair bleached and cut again, but I washed my hair before going because I had just worked out and so it was sweaty and gross. But apparently, if you wash your hair before getting your head bleached, you wash all of the oils off of your scalp and that kind of protects against the bleach. So I literally have scabs on my head now and it hurt so bad. Anyway, that was my day yesterday. We're gonna go take an ice bath. It may or may not feel, it's not gonna feel good. It's gonna be terrible. Especially, so here's the thing. I'm not doubting my trainer's knowledge, but what I am saying is that I thought if you combine ice and salt, it gets super cold and like burns you. So should I put Epsom salt in with the ice? I'm gonna do some of my own research. I wanna make sure that I don't have a burning sensation part two because I did that yesterday. So anyway, I'll see you when I get home. <laughs> okay, so I have done the research. First of all, Spencer says hi. The internet says that it's fine and that it actually helps uh, the ice bath because it helps relax your muscles. Also, this is Jerry. Jerry, say, say hi. Say hi to everyone. Uh, yeah, so it's, um, time and I'm not looking forward to it. Here we go. We have the ice gamers and it's time to transport the ice from the ice bag into the tub. I have a bath mat that's a pair of tits. Okay, so I have uh, the ice. I guess I'll just fill up the tub. I was about to put warm water in because that's what I would normally do in a tub scenario when I'm taking a bath. Um, that's where I poop. Just 
giving you a little insight. So the next thing I get, which is the Epsom salt that has laxatives in it. <laughs> it's all two cupfuls of this per gallon of water. I don't know how many gallons. Oh my God, this water without ice is cold. I'm getting nervous, gamers. I'm getting nervous, but it's time for the actual ice part of the ice bath. Wouldn't it be good if you could see? Please don't fall into the water. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So I have four bags of ice, which now in hindsight, I feel like isn't nearly enough. There are only five pound bags. That's all CBS had. And I'm just one man. How can I do more? To sweeten the deal. I'm also putting in all of the ice from my fridge. There we go. Yeah, it's really fucking cold. And now we add in the Epsom salt. I'll use this much. Is this too much? It's probably fine. That's probably enough. It is time. Oh my God, that is so fucking cold. Bringing over this so I can quickly get out and go into the shower. <sighs> okay, here we go, here we go. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. That's the maximum amount of time. I'm gonna, this is my first ice bath, like since doing it for like a video for the goof. So we'll see how long I can actually last in this. Here we go, center out my feet. Oh my God, that is so fucking cold. Fuck, this is gonna suck, this is gonna suck, this is gonna suck. Look at the air coming up from my boxers. Just kidding. That's my penis. It's that big. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, this is not fun. I like can't talk because it's so cold. Breathe, boy. Breathe. I might be done. It's so cold. Is it still going? Yep. Hi. Okay, I gotta go get in the shower. I've done it. Yeah, that was not fun. Um, I have to, again, this is my first ice bath. So I gotta like train myself into working up because it was so shockingly cold. A bunch of people are probably gonna be like, e you're a pussy, you didn't last long enough in the tub. Me, 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 okay? Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> but I think I was probably in there for like <laughs> maybe two minutes. Now I'm putting my foot back in. Oh my God, that is so fucking cold. So now I guess I'm just going to get dressed and uh... do videos. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve Eve, so I do have plans tonight. Jocelyn, who a lot of you guys probably know, some of you probably don't know, she's my assistant, she's great. But I'm not going home for the holidays. And so she texted my mom and was like, what do you usually make on Christmas? Because Ethan's not coming home. And so on Christmas Eve Eve, I wanna cook him a meal of what you would make, which is really, really sweet, really, really nice. So she's coming over later to make um, a fish chowder that my grandfather always makes. But now I need to go and record. I'm gonna get dressed. I'll keep you updated. Hello, it's later now. Um, I didn't go and record after, uh, after doing the ice bath. I made a thumbnail for tomorrow's video uh, and did some other stuff. But now I'm making a fire. My good pal, Justin, who owns Jerry, the dog that you met earlier, he gave this to me as a random gift. It's, it's just a fire pit. It's a little solo stove, as it's called. And it's just been really nice, like a nice way for me to chill out at the end of the day. It's just, I sit out here on my little balcony and I make a little fire. I really like my, making fires a lot. I used to do it a lot as a kid because in the house that I grew up in, we had a fireplace. So my brother and I would make fires a lot, especially during the winter time. So it's a nice, it's a nice thing to just chill out here and make a little fire. I have a little drink, whether it's a little what is this? A mango orange sparkling water? Or maybe you're crap cracking open a beer with the boys, you know? But look at that, huh? Look at that. Damn, son. You shit with that ass? Bet you do. 
So yep, that was the fire. But it's a nice way to just like chill out at the end of the day. I don't know where I'm gonna pick off, pick up this vlog next, because <coughs> I don't think the video is gonna end here. Maybe I'll give you some stuff tomorrow, because tomorrow is Saturday. It's Christmas Eve, one. And right now I don't work out on the weekends at all. I just do Monday through Friday, but especially tomorrow because it's Christmas Eve. So maybe I'll just wake up and do a little vlog of, of my whole day, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Three days later. Good morning. So I lied to all of you because it is now December 26th. I did not vlog on Christmas Eve like I said I would. And I did not vlog on Christmas. And I didn't say that I would, so it's actually fine. Ready? <laughs> Be free. It is the, the day after Christmas. It's the 26th. Today. I woke up at 6.30 to the sound of my alarm and I said, hey, this bitch has got to get some stuff done today. So we're going to go and get some stuff done today. I don't know if you guys, wow, <laughs> look at this cool lighting. <sighs> it is tough to be alive. I don't know what you guys are like in the morning, but usually, like, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> hey, Spencer, it's too early for that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Good morning. What are you doing? You're getting all riled up. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, there's a person at the front door? I'm not checking that. I'm not awake yet. But today, some things that I need to do. One, I need to record some stuff because I am going to visit Sean and Evelyn in the UK. I think we're gonna record Choo Choo Charles. I think I'm gonna record, oh, I need to record my like bye bye 2022 i have i have a list in my office but i got these notepads that i'm really excited about that are just lined notepads but at the start of every one there's a little box for a check mark because i, I really like a physical list it's nice <laughs> good morning spencer he wants a little ball time this ball is fucking gross bud i'm going to make coffee for myself now so <laughs> have you guys ever heard of top of the morning coffee? God, I don't have the bag, but the beans are in the machine and they're about to get grinded up and put into my ass. <laughs> top of the morning coffee, it goes in your ass. You know, a lot of people ask me, what's the first thing you do when you wake up? Well, I always start my mornings the same with a nice fresh cup of top of the morning coffee. And even more people ask me, why top of the morning? It's because our favorite YouTuber drinks it, Jacksepticeye. It's because it tastes better than every other brand of coffee I'd imagine if I'd tried other brands of coffee. But most importantly, it's because it fucking rules, dude. It's because without top of the morning coffee, I wouldn't have my $3.5 million salary, 17 Los Angeles apartment complexes, 12 Malibu homes, 14 Malibu Stacy's, nine spouses, three super yachts, six additional fingers on my right hand, two fingers falling off my left hand, loss of vision out of my left eye, blunt force trauma, and the will to carry on. But do you wanna know the real reason I drink top of the morning? It's because I can do what I want, I'm an adult, blow me. Top of the morning coffee. I have coffee now. Um, a lot of people, you can see my nipples through the shirt. Mommy. A lot of people don't like this mug. Had it on live streams before and people are not about it. And why aren't they about it? People don't like being able to see what's in it, I guess. I have no problem. I actually really like these mugs. I kind of like that they're clear. It's kind of cool, but they're also fucking massive. So that's really why I like it a lot. So if you don't like my mug, Go fuck yourself. This is the little list thing that I was talking about. Look at this. Isn't this cool? I don't know how cool this is, but it's just a list. It's just a normal little list, but it's got little check boxes on it, which I really like. I like to physically check things off. Tip for ADD people. Sometimes doing a physical thing rather than writing something down on your phone where it just gets lost into the abyss. I don't have an issue with losing these. I know a lot of people have issues with object permanence with ADHD, which I mean, I also do, but I, I don't seem to lose the lists a lot, which is nice. I do also just kind of keep them in my pocket, but I like having a physical list and it's also really satisfying when you get to check something off. But let's see, I wrote down some things that I need to do. I need to clean out my fridge before I leave. I want to go and get a new comforter cover while I'm at Target. And then the last thing I need to do is buy film for my little film camera. 
um, that I'll be bringing to the UK. Because I'm not going to film anything while I'm there. <laughs> film. Because it, cause it shoots on recordings that I need to do. I need to do Choo Choo Charles. I need to do TikToks, my favorite TikToks of the year. Goodbye 2022. Those are the three priorities. I'm gonna put little stars next to these. I also have Goat Sim 3 on here because I haven't played that yet. I Am Jesus Christ is a game that just came out. There's a common sense test that I wanna do. And then if I have extra time, a, uh, a three scary games. I'm very excited for this new year coming up. Um, I really just, I know that I say this all the time. We'll see if this actually means anything later, but I, re I really wanna focus on like being more consistent this year. And I'm already feeling more consistent in other ways in my life. Like, like I was saying at the beginning of this vlog, I've been working out almost every day and that's been really really good for obviously my physical health but my mental health too because doing the same thing every day or almost every day is just really good for my brain i think it's really hard for me and it's really stressful for me when i'm not doing something uh habitually and i think that that's been the hardest thing for videos and stuff these last few years is that i just haven't gotten into the habit of like posting every day or posting almost every day. I really want to try and do that. And a lot of people are like, Ethan, you don't need to post every day for blah, 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 blah. I know that I don't, and I am not necessarily going to, but I think that I need to start making uh, a schedule for myself where maybe I record at least one thing every day or almost every day just to keep in the habit because that's better for my brain. To keep the habit because if I stop the habit, then it just crumbles. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, um, I'm gonna go check some stuff off of this list. So, see you in a bit. Okay, uh, I just did a recording of Choo Choo Charles. Uh, I have a little less than an hour until I need to be at the gym, but I haven't eaten any breakfast and I don't really have any breakfast food currently. So I might leave early and go and get some breakfast food. I did just received a, a, uh, a gift, not a gift, for me, a gift from me to somebody. It's not an exciting gift, but I'm excited about it. At the Game Grumps office, I love the Game Grumps, everybody there, but I was recording Guest Grumps with them a little bit ago, and all of their mic cables are the same color, which is fine, but it's also sometimes annoying being like, which mic is which, when all the mic uh, cables look the same. And so I got them, I got Aaron a pink one, because it's his favorite color. I got the Guest Mic orange, like the Game Grumps logo, and then I got Dan a blue one, because blue is his favorite color. Except I actually ordered another blue one because Dan's favorite color is like a light blue. But the this the preview image on the website was much lighter than this. Like this is like a really dark blue. So I ordered another one that is much lighter. I'm excited to give them those because I think it I think it'll be kind of fun. Okay, it's gym time. I might be a bad little boy and just stop at McDonald's or something because I don't want to go to the gym on an empty stomach so I might just like grab an egg McMuffin. Depending on if people are there or not, I might film, but I don't like filming if other people are there because uh, I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. But we're going to meet up with my trainer Andre who has been in a couple of videos. He was in that video a long time ago where I did the like anime workout that was him and alex who is mark's trainer just going in for a, a normal workout today the last workout before my little vacation so he's probably gonna kill me so i can't can't wait for that Well, friends, I have finished the workout right before vacation. Andre killed me. And guess what? It's the Christmas season, and it's almost the new year. And don't you want to get in shape? Well, you can train with Andre over yeah, Zoom. Yeah. Well, I can't zoom in. Never mind. <laughs> if people want to work out with you, how do they do it? Uh, get in contact with me through Instagram, Andre Kim underscore. And then Whoever's I'll have a link. editing, put it right there. Wow. It's so great. You feel so good. <laughs>
<laughs> it's always so good to work out, but it also hurts a, lo a lot. <laughs> oh, I need to go to Target. I need to go and get things for the trip. I need to get a new suitcase. I need to get it on my list. But yeah, that workout was rough. But yeah, if you um, if you want to be trained by Andre, he's doing stuff over Zoom. But don't hit him up and ask him questions about me, okay? I know that people have done that in the past because he's told me. Please don't do that. It's really weird and it's disrespectful uh, and not cool. I have returned. It took way longer than I thought, but I got a little small suitcase. Now I, I need to eat and I need to take a shower and get unstinky. And then I th I'm gonna record TikToks of the year and bye bye 2022. And then I'm just gonna clean, I think a little bit. Um, just do some general cleaning and decluttering. Oh, fuck, I need to do laundry. <laughs> uh, yeah, yup, yup, yup. I also realized while I was in Target um, that uh, I was still wearing this and I was like, you can definitely see my nipples through it. So, whoops. What is that?